Verse 7, Amos 9, 7. Are you not as the sons of Ethiopia to me, O sons of Israel, declares the Lord? Have I not brought up Israel from the land of Egypt and the Philistines from Kaphthor and the Arameans from Kir? What are we saying? You got to understand this now. The people of Israel, mm -hmm. Israel was a chosen nation and the chosen people called out of the loins of, of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? And they are still the people. The gifts and the calling of God are irrepentable, yes. irrevocable, all right? They are still his chosen. Yes. But disobedience can separate you. Sin separates you from God. Yes. That's, yes. What, that's what God has spoken through the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. And it's important to understand something here. Because here's where it's going. Paul wrote in his letter to the Romans, Romans 2.28, and he said, uh, for he is not a Jew who is one outwardly, mm -hmm. nor is circumcision that which is outward in the flesh. You're not a Christian either because you give gifts at Christmas or sing in the choir on Easter. Mm -hmm. it, it's not about going to church. It's about being the church, okay? Salvation and righteousness is about being a child of God. We are each individual living stones. Yes. Okay. That well, make up the church. It's not about being born in Israel. It was about having a heart for God and loving the Lord with all of your heart, soul, mind. I mean, this, this is what made you in a right relationship. Or, well, that's what put you in a right position with the Lord. It's only the shed blood of Jesus Christ and the atoning work that gave you a right relationship with God the Father. But, but salvation and righteousness is about being a child of God. It's not about having been born in Israel. And, and think about this now, because as the contentious Jews, when Jesus was at the temple, they were rejecting him. They were rejecting Jesus at the same time that they were proudly proclaiming themselves Abraham's descendants. Mm -hmm. And that God was their father. So Jesus said to them, you are of your father, the devil. And you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there's no truth in him. Whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own nature. For he is a liar and the father of lies. John 8, 44. So these are the, the, the listen, these are the Jews who are in the temple. They're being very, very religious. Yes. But Jesus is saying, Abraham, he's not your father. God's not your father. No. Satan is your father. So it's what determines that you're a child of God? Well, being part of God's kingdom is about being part of God's family. Mm -hmm. That was the idea from the beginning. This is what he spoke to Abraham, yes. right? Yes. It's about being part of the family, not about being part of the denomination, okay? Mm -hmm. this is, that's important. That's, it's a right relationship. And the Word of God says, again, I'll go back to Paul in his letter to the Romans. He said, for all who are being led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Not because your parents belong to the right church, or because you were baptized in it as an infant, totally unaware of what was going on. Not because your parents were Jewish or because you show up occasionally at a church service, but because of your father. So Jesus commanded, not just Nicodemus, mm -mm. but all mankind, and he said, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And then being taught, we're talking about being born of your father who is in heaven, right. right? The father of spirits. Then and only then can you cry out, Abba, Father, which it says again in Romans mm -hmm. 8, right? Remember, God searches your heart. It's, it's not about these, these religious works that make you, give you a right relationship with the Lord, okay? You know, Alice and I, for, for many years, and those of you who know us, I mean, it's always been our habit to, to share the good news with people as we go about our daily life out in the world, out in the marketplace. Or, mm -hmm. So we'll say to people all the time, just one way or the other, it'll come up and I'll say, do you know that Jesus loves you, all right? And I can't tell you how many times, I asked somebody, you know, 
has anybody told you that Jesus loves you? And somebody will say to me, well, my mother goes to the Baptist church down the street. <laughs> or, you know, my, my, that. And they'll start talking about things that absolutely have nothing to do with about being a child of God. Right. You can't, you can't get there. It says no man can by any means save, redeem his brother. for the. Mm -hmm. Your mommy going to church doesn't do anything for you other than the fact I pray she's a good witness of God's love to you. Mm -hmm. But you, this is something you got to do. It's a choice you have to make. I don't know if it's a hymn or not. There's that old country song. You got to walk that lonely night. You got to walk it by yourself. Nobody else can do it. You got to walk this lonesome valley. You got to walk it by yourself. Nobody here can walk it for you. You have to walk it by yourself. Jesus had to walk this lonesome valley. He had to walk it by himself. Nobody else.